yes, man. It's about time we, we, we entered into the launch. And uh, today we have uh, Professor uh, Paul <laughs> Kamau, and he's here to just tell us more about the Disability Awareness Day. It's the 14th uh, Disability Awareness Day in Kenyatta University, and there's a lot that has been achieved, and I want him just to walk us through it. Welcome to the show, Prof. Thank you very much. I, um, I know people are yearning to listen to your, you introduce yourself okay. better. Thank you. Uh, my name is Professor Paul Kamambogwa, and uh, I've been here at Kenyatta University for over 30 years. Yes. Um, I was the first director of the Directorate of Disability Services here at Kenyatta University, okay. and it was started in 2010. Okay. So we have been running now for almost 21 years. 21 years. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, or is it 21 really? It's 11. 11 years, yeah, 11. about 11 years, because I was there for about seven years. Seven. And the other current director is there now, doc, uh, Dr. Mbugwa. Yes. He's also a Mbugwa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, but <laughs> Mungai Mbugwa. Mungai Mbugwa. He's from the literature department, um, from the plant sciences department. Yeah. Uh, so we have been friends, and uh, this issue of... Um, uh, the, the, the starting of the directorate was uh, pioneered by many people, including the director himself, the, uh, pro, uh, I mean Dr. Mbugwa. Mungai Bugwa has had this idea that it is good for KU to be um, adapted for persons with disabilities so that they can be able to fit here, and mainly because of our catchment areas yes. for persons with disabilities who want to go for higher education. We are next to Thika, Thika School for the Blind. Yes. We are next to Thika, Jakaranda School for the Physically Disabled, and so on. So we have many other institutions around us that uh, are looking for higher education for their students who have disability. So KU became a natural place for them to come to. Them. And then secondly, we were offering education and many of them thought being a teacher is an easy thing, yes. uh, which of course is this. However, it's a bit challenging when it comes to practicals and things like that, but KU has coped. Yeah. Uh, KU has coped, and we have been able to produce very good teachers. Um, and, and then, of course, it has been, we have had diversification. It's no longer just education. They go for sciences. We've had students in pharmacy. We have had students who are doing all kinds of uh, other, I mean, uh, other courses, including maths and, and so on. So we have had a diversity among the students. Yes. Uh, looking at, at Kenyatta University, it's, it's a very inclusive environment yes. and very conducive for people living with disabilities. Yes. I don't know if there are maybe other, other institutions watching and they wanted to know the steps that can be taken to make their institutions to be uh, inclusive and, and conducive for uh, people living with disabilities. What steps can they take? Well, um, we have had that going on. I, I, I tell you that uh, from the 2010, when we started, there were many other institutions that were willing also to come on board. And by the way, it was decided by, by the current COOPS now, yes. uh, the, the University Admissions Board, it was called JAB then, Jab, yeah. um, that for all universities, they had to admit students, a, sta a certain proportion of their population had to be students with disabilities. So they were saying, you know, this is very difficult. Uh, running a place with persons with disabilities is expensive and complicated. And complicated. So um, they had to come here, and we, had, uh, we have had many institutions come, come over here to benchmark with us. And, and they are very simple things, by the way. It's not that difficult. It's only that the attitude, you have to change the attitude. Uh, I was tell, telling Rian that uh, uh, one of the problems we have in this nation, and it's not just Kenya, is the approach we have towards persons with disabilities because we, so, we are socialized to avoid them, keep yes. away from them. Yes. So even institutions keep away. They keep away because that's a natural thing to do. And yet, persons with disabilities also have a, have a voice, and they also need to be heard, and they ha also have personal rights to, ha to education. So I would tell the, the institutions that want to adapt and have students with disabilities uh, come to them. They can come to KU. They can look at other. R there is a lot of material that's already written up about um, what we call uh, adaptability and um, uh, changing a few things here and there, like the ramps, uh, the signages, and so on, for persons with disabilities to be able to see uh, low vision people with good writings. Uh, if they are on wheelchairs, how do they get to the buildings? If they can't hear, how do you sign them in? And so on. So all those things are doable. 
mm. they are doable. How, how they can move around. Yes, yes, they are doable. And uh, one of the things I did is that um, when I became the director, I knew I didn't know very much about persons with disabilities. Of course, I knew about my disability, yes. because I have a disability myself. Yes. But uh, about visual, persons with visual impairment, I had no idea. So what I did is I joined with the Department of Special Needs, and I want here to, to, to congratulate and actually thank the leadership of the special needs department. They are the ones who came up with this whole idea. But again, together with the director and um, the former vice chancellor, they were very, very supportive of this idea of starting a directorate. And uh, they gave me what I needed to know. So there was no any kind of disability that would apply to come to KU that I wouldn't know what to do because I had specialists. In the, spe in the department of special needs, we have people who are dealing with all kinds of disabilities as a study right from the diploma all the way to the PhD. So if you want any issue on any disability, right from cerebral palsy, that's something I didn't know about. They taught me uh, how to handle people, how to listen to people, how to finally bring them on board so that you are moving together. Because at the end of the day, it is what we are saying in, the, uh, we are saying in, this, uh, in this particular session on, of, uh, on inclusivity. We inclusivity. want everybody to be included. Yeah, because there is no world for persons with disabilities alone. No, yes. they are everywhere. They're everywhere. It's your brother, it's your sister, and you want to mm. know how to deal with them right from home to school to the university. Yeah, statistics yes. say 15% of the world's Exactly, 15%. 15% are some countries that have better medical care. Yeah, it's, it's as low as 10. But mm. even with 10%, that's what we claim in Kenya, for example, that sometimes you may be ha ab having about 10% uh, of the population of Kenya with pers of persons with disabilities. And that's a very big figure because you can imagine if you, if you only uh, estimate that you're about 40 million. We are talking of 4 million people, the whole population of Nairobi, persons with disabilities, with disability. everybody. That's, everybody. The whole, that's what we are talking about. It's a huge figure. So we cannot ignore those people. No, yes, we, we because cannot. people of, with disabilities are there, and yeah. they need also to be incorporated. Yeah, uh, about the, the 11th uh, D Disability Awareness Day, uh, yes. I know your, your theme is uh, towards uh, a inc uh, disability inclusive society post yes. uh, the COVID world. Yes. I, I just wanted to know, uh, to what lengths, you know, before we get to the post COVID world, yes. to what lengths have the people living with uh, disabilities been hit by COVID-19 and, uh, and, and how have they been coping up? Well, COVID came and it hit everybody. Yes. And um, persons with disabilities were not spared. And, uh, but uh, some of them, I, I, I would also uh, put it that they were not hit in such a way that they were negative. Some of it is positive. Positive in the sense that I, I listened to one of the persons who was in, being interviewed about COVID. And she was saying now that now that I have bundles and I'm able to access to access education right from my home. From my home, yeah. I'm better off. I'm better I off. I don't have to keep moving around with my cane, mm. uh, looking for my uh, lecture room. I, I have my lectures where I'm sitting. Uh. So in that way, it is positive. Mm. However, of course, the downside is that you have to pay. You have to look for the for the bundles. You have to look for the special phone mm. or, the com or the laptop or whatever yes. so that you can be able to access. So persons with disabilities were hard hit. You can imagine, for example, uh, uh, people who have a problem with hearing. Uh, now you have to have sign, sign language coming to you all over. All over. Uh, and people try now to access, uh, to get you to understand and to see what really is going on about this COVID issue. So mm. it, it, it's a new world altogether, very, very new, and everybody's trying to find a way mm. of coping. Uh, persons with disabilities, uh, especially the physical, mm. moving around and going to get what you need, uh, that is still is a big challenge. With mm. COVID, it's even more challenging. It's even more challenging. Yes, it's even more challenging. So there are quite a number of issues that uh, really have made the world very difficult. Mm. And yet, at the same time, uh, I, I want also to point out that persons with disabilities, some of them are very resilient. And by the way, when you see an adult who has a disability, yes. please salute them. <laughs> they are <laughs> resilient. They are very strong. They are resilient enough to be adults with yes. that disability. It means they have fought a lot of battles. Yes. And um, what we say in the world of disability, don't pity people, mm. but empathize, empathize with, them. with them. Try to help them so that they can get along and go with their own thing. Greet them. You know, one of the attitudes we have been working on even here at Kenyatta University is greet people, greet people. in the morning. People, uh, persons uh, with disabilities on wheelchair, 
You see, people see the wheelchair first, not the individual. The individual yeah. And yet, the individual <laughs> is the one who has been facilitated by the wheelchair. Greet them. They are human beings. They need greetings. You know? <laughs> yeah. Smile at them because you are not smiling at the wheelchair. You're but smiling at we the normally, yeah. We normally see as if you are smiling at the wheelchair. You see? Yeah, so because we see the structure rather than the person. Mm. And, and that becomes quite a big issue. If you see a person who wants to cross a street, help them because you are their eyes. You yeah, can help eyes, them yeah. and you can offer they something. Can anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so we, we, we are talking. Uh, you are talking about a more inclusive uh, yes. environment in the future. Yes. I, I just wanted to know: mm -hmm. as at now, mm -hmm. are there enough facilities to uh, to accommodate the limitations of people living with disabilities in Kenya? Um, uh, Alana would say uh, they have tried, yeah. because from the uh, the Disability Act of 2013, um, I mean 2003, two, 2003. That was passed by the the, the, uh, the, the I mean uh, President Mo, uh, I mean Mwai Kibaki. He's yeah. the one who signed it, and actually he himself signed that act when he was on wheelchair. I remember. Yes, he he signed it while he, while he went on wheelchair. So I could I could say from the point of view of the government, they have really tried. They have really tried to come and and bring on board everybody on on board. Yeah. However, there are still pockets. And these pockets, as I said, Alan, is because of the socialization we have. We need also to ch change our culture, our attitude towards one another. Yeah. Because many parents are still hiding their children. And I hope some of them watching this will come out and say, well, this child is my child. And because it's my child, I need to take them to school. Because some of them are still hiding them. And that's a tragedy for this nation. We don't want anybody to be left behind just because of their disability, because they have a problem with hearing. Yes. Take them to wherever they can be assessed. KISA is there, and KISA's mandate is to ensure that they, they, they kind of check everybody's disability and place them in the right, the right, uh, the right education stream, because some of them will go to special schools. Uh, however, in this model, uh, I mean, in this, in, the, in this season, what we are saying is we should include everybody. So we are encouraging more of integrated education rather than secluded. secluded. But of course, we also know there is need for uh, special needs education uh, in special schools because, for example, microphones, uh, hearing aids, and so on that you need, they need to be fixed in one place before people now can be integrated to, with the rest of the, the rest nation. Of the nation. Yes, so there is part of the training that cannot be special, but at the same time, at, at the end of it all, let's have everybody together with everybody else. So I know they have done a lot, mm. uh, but there's still a lot there's of room. And uh, what I'm saying is that for some people who are hearing about disability for the first time, you can imagine what would have happened if my parents never took me to school. I wouldn't be a professor you today. Yeah, you and the people have impacted on, uh, have impacted in the last 30 years. And they range from, I mean, they live all over the world. Yes. From Mombasa, I've had my students. In Kisumu, wherever, you know, all over. Yeah. There are people who, have Im who are impacting this nation on my behalf as I impact others. So you can imagine what damage we do if we don't integrate and bring our children out so that they can also they be can part integrate. of the nation. Because sometimes we, 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 we are losing or throwing away into the dustbin. People would be brilliant. And, and, and some of them are yeah. very brilliant, very, very bright. Asuka, Avika School for the Blind, one of the things you notice is they are very good in singing because they hear very little things. Mm. I can't. I can't <laughs> sing like them. And, and you know, they, they have bright things that they can do. Can. You know, yes. The, some of them are very good in artwork. Yeah. With autism, there are people who can draw very well. Um, but when we suppress them or when we don't give them the opportunities, uh, we lose we them. Don't, when we don't include them. Yes, when we don't include them, uh, yeah. we lose them. Uh, yeah. uh, about today, uh, yes. uh, maybe you can just tell us about today, uh, today's uh, the event. D uh, Disability Awareness Day. Yeah. Maybe about today's events. And mm. uh, I've seen it's a it's, it's a three day it's a three day event. Mm. What what's the plan? What will be there? What, what what's the new thing that people will learn? Um, the main thing will be today, this morning. Uh, we'll be starting from around to about uh, one o'clock. Uh, we'll be having um, um, uh, some people invited who have come, and uh, our vice chancellor hopefully uh, will be there, and uh, all the other major guests. We have invited quite a number of people because what we normally do on this day, we try to bring the whole of Kenyatta University together, together yeah. and that's why it's called Disability Awareness Day, so that we in, uh, we tell the students who are our target, and they are the ones we serve most, and also the staff, 
because the staff we also have persons with disabilities. Um, so today we'll be bringing them together. Unfortunately, because of COVID, we cannot have more than 100 people or yeah. so, or there about. Uh, it's a small crowd. Uh, but we'll be uh, relaying live. I hope you people will be there. KU yeah, TV, uh, we, we are relying on you. And also social media. We'll have Facebook running and so on. And the idea here is to reach as many people in this in this country as possible. And we, are, by the way, for us this is a plus rather than a minus. Yeah, yeah. Although we may have the not, not uh, we may not have the physical crowd with us. We are telling everybody, please tell your friends also to watch this. To watch I that. hope you put it also on, in in, uh, in YouTube so yeah. that it can be watched uh, much later. So it will go even further than other uh, uh, other disabilities. I, I think it will also be live on our on our Facebook page. Yes, 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 so yes, it yeah, yeah, yes, it amount. will be. So. We are, we are having um, uh, uh, Justice Mobin Gugi. She is our chief guest who is going to be uh, with us this morning. And then after that, we, we, we will also be having uh, entertainment. Um, uh, with, uh, From uh, Guardian I mean, Angel? Yes, Guardian uh, Angel. Yeah. And, and uh, then we, we will also be having um, uh, people telling one another what is, is really going on. We also had a display. We, we normally have displays that normally come at the beginning of the process. Mm -hmm. uh, but this time, again, because of COVID, we have had to suspend that section, mm -hmm. uh, which, of course, is rather unfortunate. But because of crowding, we, we, and we, we didn't know how to control the people. Yeah. And then we also, we normally have people fill up the whole of business center. Business center yeah. yeah, but this time, let's be, uh, we, we have agreed that we could keep the crowd as a bit small. So that's what will be happening. We'll, we'll also be having, of course, the speeches yeah. uh, from the director of the Directorate the of director Disability director. Services. We'll also have a, a speech from the students, mm -hmm. what they have observed and what they think we should be doing, because we keep checking on one another. Are we doing uh, good enough, or do we still have uh, quite some way to go because uh, there are new things that are always coming and one of the things that uh, people may not know is that disability is not one type mm. there are hundreds of them there are hundreds of them yeah. so what you do this year you may have to revise and adjust, and adjust. Uh, uh, because of the new di types of disabilities that have come uh, but uh, one of the uh, 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 one of the services we have had here at Kenyatta University is a transport for the mm. physically for the and, and visually the impaired the students. Small yes, they yeah. are taken around uh, in, uh, in, right. in vehicles to their lectures and back to their rooms. So they are moved around, and, around. Uh, and that is taken care of by Kenyatta University. Uh, th that's a great program you have over there. Uh, I don't know if you have any, any last words if, uh, as we finish the, the interview. Uh, any last remarks? Oh, my last remarks is that this is a great opportunity for Kenyatta University also to reach out to others and tell the world what we are doing, because this is a great thing to do for persons with disabilities. disabilities. And I know some people have always imagined it's a very expensive to run uh, yeah. a program for persons with disabilities. It is not. It is not. not. It's more expensive, of course, to ignore them, yeah. because you're ignoring people who should also be included. Yeah. And um, their contribution is, is immense, immense when they go out there and they touch the lives of many people out there. Because some of them, where they will go, you will never reach there. Yeah. Yes, they are our eyes, they are our hands, they are our ambassadors to touch the lives of people out there and tell them about disability. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, thank Professor. You, yeah. I think we should just find time yeah. and you come and just tell us more about this because I, I feel there's more you can say, but you know, we're limited with time. Okay. But uh, thank you very much for coming through. Yeah. Uh, we'll be waiting to see the event live on Facebook or maybe just attend. Yes, and, uh, please come. Good. Please come. And also, of course, turn on your Facebook yeah. and uh, watch us and see watch what us we are and doing. And YouTube, yes. of course, it will yes. be uploaded on YouTube later. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that was uh, Professor Paul Kamau. And we are saying that they, we, we, we are supposed to move to a society that is more inclusive uh, of people living with disabilities. So whatever you're doing, just make, uh, take time and appreciate people living with disabilities. And maybe just appreciate them. Say hello. We are done.